All right, what is up, everyone? I'm stealing this idea from Idubs, who ranked his fast food tier list. This is the Philadelphia cheese steak tier list. I've eaten at every single one of these places, and trust me when I tell you I know the best cheese steaks in town and the worst ones in town. S being the top of the list, F being the bottom of the list. Basically, only go to S tier or A tier cheesesteak spots because any of the other ones is just not worth it when you compare them to the level of quality of beef and whiz that you get at an S tier or an A tier. All right, so let's start this list. We're gonna start with Jim's famous steaks that you can get over on South Street. It is the one closest to me. It is honestly not that worth it. The worst part about it is that there's no sides. There's no fries that you can get. There's no, you can get maybe a bag of chips. You can get beer, which is kind of nice, but you're not sitting inside. You're gonna have to take it to go or eat it outside on a corner like a fucking bum. Uh, because of that, you really have to rely heavily on the quality of the cheesesteak, and it's just okay. It's kind of average, so I would give Jim's a C ranking. It's just an average steak. It's kind of a little bit soggy. The meat is not very well seasoned. There's not much to it. You just get whiz on it. It's greasy as fuck, and you're probably going to burn the roof of your mouth. Tony Luke's is a cheesesteak spot. It's all over the South Philadelphia, and with Ch Tony Luke's, Choney Luke's, with Tony Luke's, um, it's basically the cheesesteak spot for people who think they know cheesesteaks. So if you know cheesesteaks, you're probably like, nah, don't go to Pat's or Gino's, go to Tony Luke's. If you're that kind of person, well, then you go in the E tier because it's just not that good. It's just not that good. It's honestly not that good, but they do kind of give you sides and there's other stuff that you could get. And, uh, there are a bunch of them, but I would say E tier just for the sole fact that people, Think they know cheesesteaks when they eat at Tony Luke's. It's just not the case. Cleavers, F tier. Don't even go there. It's a trash spot. The meat's terrible. The cheese isn't that good. It's just not good. It's just like a, it's just like, hey, we're in Philadelphia. Let's just start selling cheesesteaks. Maybe we'll make money. I expect them to go out of business quite soon. Sonny's famous cheesesteaks over in Old City is a little bit above average. Their food is pretty good. I actually dig their cheesesteaks. They also have a pretty... They have a pretty good burger as well. Um, I dig Sunny's. Sunny's is not bad. The only reason it's not an A or S tier is because it's just not... You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about when we come around. All right, here's the big gun. The big kahuna here. Gino's. Look at this fucking place. Gino's Steaks. Super hot tour spot. If you come to Philadelphia, it's either Gino's or Pat's. And in my opinion, Gino's ranks at a D. This is the the sort of average Philadelphia cheesesteak. You're going to get kind of like low-grade quality meat, low-grade quality bread, low-grade quality whiz. It's just all just kind of bottom of the barrel. But they dress it up nice. There's a nice seating area outside. You're in that sort of uh, district where there's a lot going on. So that kind of bumps that score up a little bit. But unfortunately, that just means Pat's King of Steaks ranks next to Tony Luke's. It's just not good. It's just run of the mill. There's not no frills to it. You're going to get a cheese steak. That's basically the equivalent of frying steakums in a pan and putting it on some bread and then spraying some whiz on it. They rely on volume. You see what I'm saying? These three places rely on heavily on tourists and volume. And the way they make their money is through that volume, especially during the on seasons. And because of that, they have to cut corners in quality. Now, Ishka Bibbles. What the fuck is Ishka Bibbles? This is a South Street staple. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I like Ishkibibble cheesesteaks. The main reason, because there's no fucking line. You go in there, there's probably a fight going on inside, but if they're going to get it to you quick. It's going to be hot, and the meat's not that bad. They season it well. The bread has a nice sort of like snap to it, and uh, it's pretty cheap. So Ishkibibble's ranks around. I'll give it, I'll, I'll put it next to Jim's. I'll put it next to Jim's. Also, Actually, I'm gonna have to put it next to Sunny's because Ishka people serves fries. They serves a bunch. They serve a bunch of other stuff, but their fries are excellent. Good stuff. Ishka Bibbles. Wawa F tier. Don't even bother getting a Wawa cheesesteak. The only reason I'm gonna rank it in E tier actually is because it's not Cleavers. Uh, we're gonna go next with the Prince of Steaks, Steve's, the Prince of Steaks. So you have. 
Pat, the king of steaks. Well, Steve is the prince of steaks, and um, he's going to rank next to uh, Wawa and Pat's and Tony Luke's. Uh, you know, have a little more confidence in yourself, Steve. Come on. You know, you can do it. You don't have to resort to being the second call. And then we have Woodrow's, Woodrow's Sandwich Shop on South Street. This is an S tier. This is the best cheesesteak in the city. It's got a truffle whiz. It's got amazing, immaculate, thick steak fries that you can get malt vinegar with. There's also Cubanos. There's a chicken sandwich there. That's just every fucking sandwich at Woodrow's is like S tier, and their cheesesteak is literally the best in the city. Anyone that has eaten there, that that has eaten their cheesesteak, trust me, they say the same thing. Woodrow's makes the best fucking cheesesteak. Sometimes you'll get an off day where sometimes the the cheesesteak's not as good, but even that cheesesteak is S tier and better than all these other scumbags in the city. Woodrow's is the best. Go to Woodrow's. Only go to Woodrow's. If you don't want to eat a cheesesteak, go and get their Cubano. Go and get their chicken sandwich. They also make, I think, a pulled pork sandwich. Uh, They have a bunch of specials all the time. It's a nice little shop. You can go. They have craft root beer. I always get the Wizwit with the root beer and a side of fries, and I've never been disappointed. Never been disappointed. That's the tier list. That's it. That's all you need to know. If you're in a hurry or you're going to the TLA or you're kind of just in a rush, then you can go to Ishkabibles or you can go to Sunny's in Old City. You can kind of go to gyms if you want to have that sort of Philadelphia experience. I would skip Tony Luke's. I would skip Geno's and Pat's. Maybe go to Geno's if you want to kind of, if you're in that area and you want to sit down in that kind of fun little spot. Uh, other than that, it's Woodrow's all the way. That's the tier list for Philadelphia's cheesesteaks. That's it. That's the fucking answer. If you have any disagreements, don't even care because you're wrong. This is the list. This is how it goes. E tier, F, don't even go to, Cleavers should just go into business.